Dear colleagues, this is an intumescent cataract with hard nucleus. Let us observe the surgical steps. The main incision is placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Some bleeding should occur. If some bleeding is there, it means you have included capillaries and the first line of defense. The neutrophils can reach there promptly if need be. And now one side port is made on the right side of the main incision. Another one has been made on the left side of the main incision. And now the anterior capsule of this white cataract is stained with tripan blue dye to get some contrast. If you stain underneath an air bubble, the staining is prompt. Wash the dye out and fill up the anterior chamber with PSS. Otherwise, there can be sudden collapse of AC. Air comes out suddenly and the instrument can touch the corneal endothelium. And now, replace the BSS with Visco 2% SPMC. Yes, I use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose for all intumescent cataracts. Just make this C flap. This is a nice C. If you make this C flap, it doesn't run to the periphery. And now, at this stage, do a small rexus just around the anterior pole. Don't try to do a large rexus at this stage. We have to reduce the intralenticular pressure first and then we will enlarge this small rexus into an optimum sized one. And now the intralenticular pressure is reduced by aspirating, aspirating some cortical matter from the capsular bag. Yes, the bag has been deflated. The intra lenticular pressure has been reduced and now visco is again injected and you can see that the anterior surface of the cataract is flat. Make a small nick at around 7 o'clock. It should be an oblique cut not a radial cut and now enlarge this small axis into an optimum sized one. The behavior of the capsule is totally different at this stage. It doesn't tend to go to periphery. And now you can see that this is a very uh, nice axis. Almost 5.25 or 5.5 millimeter almost uh, like a femtorexis. If anyone, any one of you increase your surgical skill to a certain level, you don't need femtolaser. And now Bury the teeth completely, go through the substance of the nucleus like a submarine and chop it. This is what I call submarine chop. And now you can make out that the nucleus is quite hard. Nuclear sclerosis in this case will be grade 4 plus or grade 5. In such cases, bury the teeth completely into the substance of the nucleus, go for a distance, hold the nucleus 
substance very firmly and then chop. I'm in FECO 2 mode from the very beginning. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And ultrasonic energy being used in this case is 80%. Now each big nuclear fragment is tilted in such a way that I can get on to the apex of these large nuclear fragments debulk each one and then emulsify each piece. It is not necessary to chop this hard nuclei into many small fragments. If you do that you are going to apply more ultrasonic energy in making those chops four fragments are enough and use the ultrasonic energy to debulk each large fragment and it will be emulsified very easily this is the last nuclear fragment antichamber is very stable This small nuclear piece is being emulsified and the other piece comes out through the side port and then I come out. 2% HPMC is injected again to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag. Here it is. 2% methyl cellulose. And now you can use a coaxial IA or bimanual IA or this very simple but effective instrument, a 23 gauze Simco cannula. Yes, you can use this in FECO emulsification any instrument that is efficient should be worshipped not ridiculed Simco is effective and we should worship this instrument if your side port is little larger it goes through the side ports this 23 gauze Simco and you can remove the sub-incisional cortex very easily or you can remove most of the cortex through the main incision you can make small side ports and the sub-incisional cortex you can remove by bimanual irrigation aspiration now this is hydro implantation the antechamber is kept formed by irrigation and an intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. In this case, this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. It has gone into the capsular bag. The haptics have taken shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag some moxie has been injected and now the side ports are hydrated the corneal stroma on either side of these side ports are hydrated and these side ports become watertight finally AC lavage is done so that any particle is removed and only pure BSS remains in the anterior chamber. Antichamber is formed nicely. The wounds are checked with a cotton-tipped bud 
some moxie is injected over the ocular surface and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with lot of love respect compassion and great surgical competence